I have owned 10 backpacks. Everything from that first super heavy and uncomfortable Kelty onto a couple equally as heavy but more comfortable Deuters to a Z-Pax Arcall to a Light AF Curve 40 to a couple Waymar Gear Company backpacks. RIP Waymark. And now on to my Pilgrim UL Highline backpack. This is one of my favorite backpacks. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you the improvements that they made to my favorite backpack and how I feel about those changes. In August of 2023, I reviewed the Pilgrim UL Highline backpack after taking it out on the Colorado Trail and a couple of other hikes. Now this Highline backpack was my favorite because it combines the benefit of having an ultra lightweight backpack with having a framed backpack. Like a lot of hikers, I try to keep my backpack ultra lightweight. However, a lot of times I just can't get down to that weight. I'm very close and I'm right on the fringe of being ultra lightweight. So then I'm faced with the decision, do I wear my frameless ultra lightweight backpack like my Waymark Evolve or do I carry that more substantial and much heavier framed backpack like the Waymark Through? That heavier frame backpack was engineered with thicker padding, it was a lot heavier, and it was made to carry a lot more weight than I needed it to carry. It was rigid and bulky. The 2023 Pilgrim UL Highline filled the gap between ultra lightweight frameless and a heavy framed pack. It's a 21 ounce framed backpack that can carry 25 pounds or up to 30 pounds in a pinch. Now, when I wore this backpack and I went over 25 pounds, I did have a little discomfort in my shoulders. Now, this backpack is constructed out of an EPLX fabric, and it has a single bar or a stay going down the center of the back. I was a little concerned about this design with only one stay opposed to the, the traditional two. However, it did not cause me any discomfort. Now the 2024 version of the Pilgrim UL Highline, it is still designed for that fast, ultra lightweight hiker that can appreciate having a framed pack. The biggest update to this pack is that they changed the frame. There is now a unique carbon fiber inverted U shape that only weighs nine ounces. Yes, the new frame actually weighs less than the old one. That single stay or the one bar going down the center of the 2023 Highline made it a little bit more nimble and flexible and easier to hike in than a heavier, more robust, rigid framed backpack. The 2024 version of the Highline with that inverted U maintains that nimbleness and flexibility and gives you the advantages over the more rigid framed backpack. And the nice thing about that new frame and the primary reason why I got this new backpack is yes, it weighs less, but it also has a capacity to carry 10 more pounds than the old version. So this backpack can carry 35 to 40 pounds and it weighs just an ounce or two more than a frameless pack. And this backpack actually has one of the best capacity to weight ratios of any backpack out there. I took my new Highline on a recent hike of the Appalachian Trail. On part of that hike, I plan to hike five days without resupplying through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. In addition to the extra food, I was carrying extra gear due to the colder weather and some other circumstances. 
When fully loaded, my pack weighed about 30 pounds. Everyone is different, but I knew for me, if I tried to carry that amount of weight in my old high line, that my shoulders would be sore. In the new high line with that new improved frame, I carried all of that weight effortlessly. There's absolutely no shoulder discomfort. I should note that while the backpack is advertised as 35 to 40 pound capacity, I never really tested it over say 30, 31 pounds. Do you ever have the problem that I have when I order a new backpack where I am right on the line of what my torso size is, is and what size I should order. It makes me super nervous when I'm ordering this custom backpack that I probably can't return and I'm not gonna know with 100% certainty if it fits until it arrives. In fact, my Light AF Curve 40, I ordered the wrong size and the torso was too short I wore it for a couple years and that hip belt was up on my stomach and it wasn't great. With the new High Line, there's actually an adjustment that you can make on the torso to get it dialed in perfectly for your torso size. It has some loops and you can adjust it to one of three different sizes with a range of three inches. The new High Line is made with slightly larger side pockets and the front pocket. The side pockets are made out of an ultra grid fabric and the front pocket is made out of an ultra stretch material. Despite its name, this ultra stretch material, it isn't very stretchy. However, it is much more durable than the old Lycra fabric that most backpack makers made the front pockets out of. To solve the problem of this material not being very stretchy, they've sewed a couple pleats in here to allow this fabric to expand out so you can stuff things in there easier. My new High Line is constructed for the most part out of an Ultra 200 fabric. It's no secret that I love Ultra 200 fabric. It has a texture that is less plasticky and more cloth-like, but yet it's ultra lightweight, waterproof, and it cannot be destroyed. I started out with my Waymark Evolve backpack. I like that so much. I bought a fanny pack from Light AF. I went and bought a bunch of Ultra 200 fabric and I sewed my own stuff sacks for my hammock, my tarp, a rock sack for throwing up over branches and over trees and rocks, poles for my hammock and my tarp, and finally an electronics bag. This stuff, as you can see from the blood on here, has been through hell and has not been destroyed. Recently, there are some people that have been complaining about Ultra 200 fabric becoming delaminated. I haven't had that problem. However, the manufacturer of Ultra 200 has done something to fix those supposed problems. Like the previous version of the High Line, the new version of the High Line has some great features that include a quarter inch foam back panel if you are thinking about going frameless, remember that not having a frame makes your back sweat a lot more. Having that foam and the frame will definitely reduce this. It has the Doritos Y-strap on the top that some people use for a beer canister. All the seams on this backpack are taped. That means that all the seams and the whole backpack is waterproof. This is kind of an anomaly in backpacks where most backpacks are not seam sealed. It does have the option of the bottom pouch on the bottom where you can stuff things. However, on mine for 2024, I opted to not have that pocket because I never really had a use for it. It has elastic side compression cordage. It has these straps on the side so when you roll down your backpack, you can really cinch things down. Now these you can take off if you don't want that weight. However, I really like 
cinching it down and keeping things compressed while I'm hiking. The Highline is a custom built, made to order backpack and you can have many options on size, capacity, colors of the side pockets, colors of the materials. You can also choose between that EPL X fabric and the Ultra 200 material. I like to support small businesses that are owned and manufacture their products in the United States. Pilgrim UL is a very small cottage vendor. In fact, it's one person, Dylan, who lives, makes all of his products, and he goes hiking in Utah. Dylan is a great guy. I have messaged him back and forth. We usually DM through Instagram, and he usually responds to my messages within a day. I encourage you to go to Pilgrim UL's website. When you go there, you can find out more information about Dylan, about the company, about the backpack. You can see all the different colors, the different features, the pricing. The pricing for this backpack is a little over $300, which is comparable with other backpacks of this quality. I should warn you, when you go to the backpack, it may say that the Pilgrim UL is out of stock. And what Dylan does is he only lets orders come in for about the amount that he can construct within a month. So he doesn't want people to have to wait eight weeks, 12 weeks for their backpack. So at the beginning of every month, if he determines he can build 20 backpacks in that month, he'll let 20 people order at the beginning of the month. And then the next month he'll reopen it up. However, that may change after this video comes out. I encourage you that if it says out of stock and you want to order a backpack, you can direct message Dylan through Instagram. As I mentioned, Dylan is an ultra lightweight backpacker and he knows his stuff. He created this backpack because he is ultra lightweight. However, he wanted to go backpacking in his backyard in Utah on the Uinta Highline Trail which is about a 100 mile trail. It's all over 10,000 feet and there are some long water carries and it's very difficult to resupply food. So on this hike, you're going anywhere from five to eight days uh, carrying all of that food and some longer water carries. And he wanted a backpack that was ultra lightweight but could carry that extra weight of food and water while he was on this trip. I'm happy to tell you that I am going to make that exact same trip at the end of summer. Me and a couple of buddies, we're going to be hiking the Uinta Highline Trail in August. That's going to be awesome. So go check out Dylan both on his website, on Instagram. While you're out there surfing, don't forget to check out Midwest Backpacker on Instagram and on Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe and punch that bell notification here on YouTube. Happy hiking and we will see you out on the trail.